All right, so now that we have our structure text routine in place, what we're going to do is add a simple little first scan. And I'm going to show you how to do a first scan bit so that when the first time the processor actually scans the program, it will reset anything you have underneath that. Now, this is very important because a lot of people miss this uh, key component. So I'm going to show you how to do this. But first, let's add a tag. Right, so let's add a tag and we'll just right click, hit new tag. We're gonna do a new tag. We'll call this uh, like speed reference. And in this case, what we'll do is we'll do some simple speed controls, right? Uh, we'll change this. Actually, a float is either a float or a dent is perfectly fine. Um, I, yeah, I think a dent's perfectly fine in our example. So let's keep that like that. So now we have our tag. Okay, so we have a tag and it's valid, right? So it is an actual tag in our program pointed to our processor. All right, so that's pointed to the actual uh, controller scope. That's not program scope, so keep that in mind. It's a controller scope, not program scope. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure this bit gets set to a set value during the first scan. So how do we do that? Now, we haven't quite went over, you know, uh, if then else statements, but I'm going to show you one real quick. You just merely type in if That's that simple, right? So we'll do at this point what we want to do is add the first scan so it's merely just s and then colon Okay, and then what we're going to do after that is click type f s Okay, so that's the first scan. That's how to do a first scan inside of our uh, Studio 5000 and using structured text and then we're going to say then in our instance then what we want to do is have our speed reference equal zero so then we're going to put a colon again okay and then we're going to say equals zero and then we're going to put a semicolon right so we need to end that now uh, we're ending in this right here is what we're saying so let me just put this right here so you can indent it so it is easily understandable if the first scan happens then this happens and then what we want to do behind underneath that is we want to end our if statement so first we're ending our command statement by the semicolon and then we're going to end our actual end our if statement right so we're going to type in end if right just like this you can type it in and then make sure you put a semicolon after that as well so this again is how to do a first scan inside of uh, studio 5000 which is what we're using right here and what we'll do real quick just to validate everything here is we'll quickly go in here and validate everything and go I'll go ahead and download this to our processor now I'll show you how this works Again, this is our virtual backplane. So we'll use our backplane right here. Uh, slot six is the one I'm using. I have yet to download to this, so I'm downloading to this now. So we'll download. It's really quick because the program is literally just what we've added so far. So with this said, this is going to change the state of the, well, it's going to initiate the first, when a first scan happens, when I change this from uh, remote run a remote program to run mode it's going to automatically throw a zero into this tag now again um, I can choose to you know watch this tag and you can see down here in the watch value I can watch the tag that I want to watch right here I can add that in there and watch and see that the value is a zero now I can change it at that point right but the first scan has already happened so that's the only thing really there so at this point what we have is a value of 10 now with that value of 10 if by chance the processor loses power or the somebody does the toggle switch back and forth the program just like I'm going to do now to remote or to from remote program to program uh, or to from program to remote program to back to run what we're going to do is it's going to initiate that first scan. So this 10 down here will change its state to zero. And I'll show you how that works. you see exactly how that works right then. So hopefully you'll learn a lot out of this video with a first scan using 
Studio 5000 and Structure Text. We'll see you guys on the next one.